We're in South Korea, a country in East Asia. South Korea is pretty wacky. Here in Boryong, there's a yearly mud festival that attracts over two million people to wallow in the goo. Oh. South Korea's food markets are colourful, lively and so popular that many of them are open 24 hours a day. We're in one of Seoul's biggest fish markets to get to grips with some of the local produce. Meet Korea's popular freshwater eels. They're going to help us test our reflexes ahead of the ducks and later. I really, really don't like the sound of this. Relax, Gilly. Here in the markets, it's normal for the vendors to catch the eels before they're sold. It's also a competitive seasonal activity the public enjoys. So with these guys to help us out, we're going to give it a try in a contest of our own. And AJ, new to the eel catching, can you give me any tips? Oh, so apparently you've got to grab them behind the head and if you miss Gilly, they'll bite you, latch onto you and suck all your blood Ooh. out. Jokes, jokes, jokes! Let's get this party started! Ready? Catch, catch, catch. Take a deep breath, Gilly. Some eels are dangerous and even this safe species has teeth. So with two pairs of special gloves and supervision from the experts, we're ready to go fishing. We'll show them our team tactic. You ready? It's like this. Nice tactics, Ambo. You're up first. Are you ready? One, two, three. And they're off. The rules are pretty simple. Each team has 60 seconds to extract as many eels as possible. So far, so good. And if Ambo's making it look this easy, then it must be a cinch. Oh, how confident is she? She's going for two eels in one go. Oh, I've got two. Oh, Ear-piercing scream there from Ambo, but a very quick recovery. We got one to go! We get one to go! Go and get him! An awesome performance by Team Ambo, but can they get that last eel? Yeah. Ah, it's the one that got away, hey? He looks kind of smug, actually. As much as he can through all those teeth. Feeling a little bit less confident now, hey, Gilly? You're up next. All right. And there. Oh. Gilly said it looked easy, so let's see how he copes now. Ah! 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 Oh, you got a pretty loud scream of your own there, Gilly. Ah, I don't want it! I don't want it! Ah! Luckily for Gilly, everyone else is focused on the task at hand. And it's done! <laughs> oh, but time's nearly up. Can he catch another eel? Ah! No. No, no, he can't. Good job, team. Well, it's time for the big eel count. Have Gilly's teammates done enough to stay in the game? We're about to find out. Oh, I don't have to touch them again, do I? Ah! Uh, I really want to be Ambo, but I am not sure this is worth it. <laughs> Come on, Gilly, hold it together. One, two, nine, ten eels. Ten eels. And we're done. Team Ambo's count next. OK, one, two, three. She's got ten to beat. Yay! Sixteen! We won! <laughs> Go, team! We're so happy. We're hopping around like ducks and pros already. Good job, but frankly, I'm just glad it's over. Yay! There's time for a quick detour south to Pyeongtaek to sample some of the amazing local food. Good. <laughs> but no matter what you order here in Pyeongtaek, there's one item that's always on the menu. Kimchi. It's a dish so strong and distinctive, it's considered symbolic of Korean culture. Ambo, today's would you rather is kimchi themed. Kimchi is South Korea's national dish. It's fermented, chilled, pickled cabbage. None of them good things. Oh, sounds delicious. So what are our options? Eat kimchi. Eat kimchi or? Put it in Put kimchi in your pants. Kimchi is extremely spicy with a pungent odour, yet is very popular in South Korea. Not sure what they think of people putting it down their pants, though. Eating kimchi is usually a step too far for most visitors to South Korea, but the locals are sure to love and respect all who give it a go. Now toss that coin. It's five hundo or duck. Well, I'm calling the duck then. Okay. It's five hundo! Oh, yes! 
in the pants, in the pants, um, in the pants, in the pants, in the pants. Are you guys serious? In the pants. It's what I would rather, not what you would rather. Um, so I'm gonna eat it. Here it goes. Oh, oh, get in. Get that chili oh, in. It's so hot. Is it extra fermented and extra pickled? Oh. The guys are looking pretty impressed. More, 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 more. Keep the good vibes going, Amber. How about you spread the kimchi love, Gilly? What are you putting in your pants? I'll put, I'll put in my pants. <laughs> Straight down the thermals. <laughs> Remember, that's fermented chili cabbage, Gilly. Did you think before you did that? No. <laughs> the moment just took me and I went for it. Well, if these guys love people to try kimchi, imagine how much respect this is going to earn. Yeah, you totally won them over, Gilly. Luckily for us, we have one last chance to get the local stamp of approval. We're back in Seoul, where ancient Asian crafts are still practised today. This is block printing, a technique that was established in Asia way before the rest of the world thought of it, nearly 2,000 years ago. Block prints often feature designs thought to bring good luck. Paper? Oh, no paper for me, thanks. I want it to last, so I brought my own canvas. I could use some luck. Oh, tasty. Oh. <laughs> You're not as dumb as you look. <laughs>